Hello everyone. Today we are going to read Uh oh. The authors are Aparna Kapoor and Radha Rangarajan. The illustrator is King Shuk Chaudhary and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Uh oh. So what, who are these animals? You see them? Do you know who these animals are? And what's going on here? And look at their faces. They are looking like, oh, uh, oh, what happened? So what happened? Let's see. Hello, I am very quick. So who is this? This is an animal called a gecko. And looks like the gecko is very quick. Try to press down on my tail. So you see this gecko's tail, it's so big and fat. What happens when you press down on a gecko's Tail. Uh oh. So look what happened. What is this? This is the gecko's tail that's left. Only the tail. And where is the animal? It has run off. So when a gecko is scared of something, when you press on its tail, the gecko chooses to cut off its tail and run off. It's better for it to live without a tail than to be hurt. So that is a defense behavior for the gecko. It's what it does when you threaten it, when you scare it. Please don't touch any of my leaves. I am busy looking at the clouds. So this is a touch me not plant. And look at all the leaves. When you touch it, what do you think happens? Oh no, what happened? Look, the leaves are all folded up instead of being open like this. So what does the plant do when you touch it? It is a defense behavior. The plant protects itself by folding up its leaves. I am not always this little. See what happens when you yell Cabbage. So who is this? This is a puffer fish. What do you think happens when, the, when you scare the fish? It doesn't matter what you yell, but when you just shout really loud, when you scare the fish, what do you think happens to the puffer fish? What happened here? The fish has puffed up. It has blown up into a bigger size. Look, you know, it looks bigger. It looks fuller. So it tries to make itself look bigger to scare you. You try to scare the puffer fish and the fish puffs up and blows itself up to look bigger and look scary instead. I am scared of nothing, not even lions. Roar as loudly as you can. So who is this? This is an animal called a pangolin. A pangolin has a defense behavior. Let's see what happens when you Scared. it. 
Ching! What happened here? So the pangolin, what it does when you scare it is, it rolls itself into a ball. It just rolls itself into a ball so that look at all these scales on its body, right? There is, it's, it's very hard. Those scales are very hard. So as long as the scales are covering it fully, nothing can hurt it. So the underside of the body is all safe. The face is hidden. The underside is safe and it can protect itself that way. An odd thing happens when I hear songs. So do not sing oodly oodly you to me. This animal is called a chameleon. And what happens when you scare a chameleon by singing near it? Let's see. Shoop. Look, what do you think happened? The color of the chameleon has changed to match where it is sitting, the same color of the leaves around it. So how does a chameleon protect itself? By changing its color to match the background. Oi, you, show me your scariest face. Go on. So what do you think happens when this, this is a porcupine, when you scare it and what do you think happens? Let's see. Ah! So you see, these are the spines on the porcupine's back and they are sharp needles. They're very sharp. And so when you scare it, the porcupine puts up its spines and you can get hurt by it. That is how the porcupine protects itself. I should remain calm but I don't remember why. So, no sudden movements, okay? So this is an octopus. Let's see what happens when you scare an octopus. Uh-oh! What happened here? The octopus has black ink in its body. And when you scare an octopus, it releases the black ink so that, can you see the octopus in this ink? No, right? It hides there. So when you scare an octopus, it releases this black ink and it hides in it. Meet the characters. Gecko. This is the gecko that lets go of its tail when you try to touch it. And it runs away very fast. Porcupine. This is the animal that has the sharp needles that it makes very straight and pointy when you scare it. Chameleon. This is the chameleon that changes color to match the background so that you can't see it. Pangolin. This animal with all this scaly body curls into a ball so that you can only touch the scales and the soft part of its body is hidden. Puffer fish. 
this is the puffer fish that puffs up into a bigger size when you scare it. Octopus. The octopus releases black ink to hide in it when you scare it. Touch me not. The touch me not plant folds up and closes its leaves to protect itself when you go close to it. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are Gecko, a type of animal that cuts off its own tail to run away if it's in danger. Touch me not plant, a type of plant that folds up its leaves for safety when it is touched. Puffer fish. A type of fish that swells up to look bigger when it is scared. Pangolin. A type of animal that curls up into a ball to protect itself when it is scared. Chameleon. A type of animal that changes color to match the background so it can hide when it is scared. Porcupine A type of animal that has needles called spines on its body and makes them hard and sharp when in danger. Octopus A type of sea animal that releases black ink to hide itself when it's in danger. Try these questions. Which of the animals in this story would you like to be and why? Can you think of ways in which humans also behave like these animals or plants when they are scared? Write about some examples.